super stoked right now, dude. But I will be honest with you. We ran into some uh, minor difficulties on the delivery side of this whole package thing. Yesterday, I get home from work. I see a note on the, on the back door from UPS saying, sorry, sorry, we missed you. On the bot, it was checked off like saying that they'll come back the next delivery day, which is today. That's all right. I was a little heated about it, but I was like, you know what? It's fine. Tomorrow's Friday. You know, I'll get it on a Friday and we'll, and we'll just, you know, we'll go hard. You know, Friday night, Saturday, we'll go hard. Friday comes today. I go to work around 1.30. I get a notification from the Ring doorbell app. I, I open the app and I see the UPS guy backing into our driveway, right? I see my wife go out into the, into the back deck and, you know, arms crossed, you know, a little smile on her face, you know, she's always in a good mood, my wife. And you see the UPS guy get up out the, off his driver's seat and go into the back of the truck. He's searching for the package for about five, six, seven, eight minutes maybe, just looking around, right? You see the, car, the, the truck kind of bouncing up, up and down a little bit. He goes back to the front of the truck, gets in his driver's seat, puts his seat belt on, goes to start the ignition, right? My wife's like, hey, did you, didn't you, forget, did you forget something? The guy's like, uh, yeah, um, I can't find the package. It's a, it's a mess back there. I'll try to come back later if I can find it. She's like, okay, are you guys open tomorrow? You know? And he's like, yeah, we, we deliver tomorrow. And she's like, okay. And he just drives away, right? I see, the, I see all of this on the Ring Doorbell app. I'm fucking livid at this point, dude. I got an hour left of work. I'm just ready to go home and figure out what the hell is going on and just get my, get my package, dude. Get my fucking package, right? I get home. Still no package, right? I, I turn on my Xbox. I just try to calm down a little bit. Like, hey, they ran, he ran into some kind of minor, you know, trouble. Maybe the package was left at the, at the warehouse or whatever, you know? So I get on, I play Diablo 4 for a little bit, do a Nightmare Dungeon, and uh, go back on the UPS app. And I see that it says that the package was delivered at 2.54 p.m. And it was signed off by, one, by me or my wife. I'm like, they ain't never delivered no package and we ain't never signed shit. What the hell are they talking about? I look into it and they keep saying it's been delivered. It's been delivered at the residential house, you know, the residential residence, you know? I'm like, this shit ain't true, man. They, the guy didn't come back. What the fuck is going on, right? I call UPS. I'm now I'm fucking, I'm, I go to the UPS store, right? I go up to him, I'm like, look, man, the guy, the, your, one of your drivers said he delivered the package. I didn't get no package. He says that we sign off on it. I ain't signed shit. Let's figure this out, right? The lady says there's nothing they can do about it. She gives me a phone number to call. I leave. I call the UPS number and I tell him what the hell's going on. Hey, this dude came to my house, didn't give us nothing, said, we, uh, said he was going to try to find the package or whatever and come back. Haven't heard nothing. Long story short, I look on the app, it says that uh, it, we signed off on it and that the package has been delivered. I ain't never get nothing. So what the hell's going on? They look into it, they're saying, okay, there's a mistake, this is unacceptable, we'll figure it out, we'll call you back in an hour. Long story short, dude, they never called me back. So I try to call them back, right? And right when I'm on the phone with the lady to tell them what the hell's going on and you know what the situation was, because now it's about six o'clock p.m. and UPS stops delivering at seven. So I'm 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 now I'm kind of getting now I'm mad, right? I just ate a bowl of beef and a little bit of rice. You know, I, when I get angry, I gotta have a little bit of carbs. I gotta have a little bit of cheat meal just to make myself feel a little bit better, calm myself down a little bit. So I had some white rice and uh, some beef, right? As I'm on the phone with the lady eating the beef and the rice. What do you know, the UPS guy just comes back in like a bat of the hell, dude. Picks up the package. I tell the lady, hey, look, the guy just pulled in, my bad. It's all good. I don't want the guy to get in trouble. Thank you, appreciate it. Get off, the guy brings the laptop in, and we are here. We are here. So this is a Sager. Not sure the name of the model. 
This is like my first laptop. I had a MacBook M1. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll talk about, talk about that story of what happened to that M1 later, you know, because there's a whole story into that. But, uh, you know, let's, let's shut the, let, let me shut up and let's get into the meat and potatoes of this thing, guys. Cutting this baby with a nice, nice blue water. Top's knife. You got to open all the packages with a, with a nice knife. And this is my, this is, this is just my, this is just my daily carry, man. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, why did they make this so hard to get out? Ugh. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, it's like an HP, a Dell. I'd be fucking heated you if it was a Dell. Still got some things to get. One year limited, one year limited parts and labor warranty policy. So I got one year warranty on this bitch. Okay, I'm gonna need that. Oh yeah, dude, much better than that Mac I got ahead. Oh yeah, dude, this trackpad is ginormous, bro. Look at this fucking thing. That trackpad is trackpad is huge, dude. Look at this bitch, dude. This thing fits on my whole lap, bro. I just can't wait to, you know what I'm saying? Let's fire it up. Oh yeah. Ooh, the keyboard changes colors. It was like blue and green and red. What do you know about that? Let me turn this light off real quick just to give you a little taste. Give me a little taste of it. Bro, I'm excited. It's gonna go down, dude. I was gonna play some Diablo tonight. This screen is huge, dude. Bro, we're, we're gonna game hard on this thing, dude. We might have to game on this thing until it just fucking falls apart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be dead honest with you. Let me get into this for a little bit. And, uh... I'll be right with y'all. 